it's here. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custer Brass. I am doing great. I hope you are too, because look at this. This is the new pudgy mod that Brent Peters, my old student Brent Peters, made specifically for me. Um, you might know that uh, if you're just tuning in, this is the ACB Austin Custom Brass YouTube and Instagram and my face or whatever channel. Please subscribe and like. And uh, thanks again for your great support of the shop. Brass giving is next week, so we hope that you can support our shop and we have lots of great deals. Sign up to our email list and you'll get all those deals first thing. This horn is the Pudgy Mod. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's a double shepherd's crooked horn and it's got more than just that going on. This, is, this mod, Brent asked me pretty much every step of the way what I wanted for a configuration. As you may or may not know, I had a Monette Cornet in stock uh, a while back. I actually ended up selling it. Uh, I had a customer who really wanted it. And I kind of missed that sound and that sort of vibe of that horn that um, could do lots of things but still lean towards a darker, warmer side of things. Even Copernicus is still a pretty much dark and warm, but it's, it lights up. This is on maybe one or two steps further in terms of the darkness spectrum. In fact, at the beginning of the clip, I was using this uh, 3CS TF mouthpiece. It's a great uh, balance with this instrument. I'm going to push my slide here. It tunes right here, by the way. And, that, and you, so you could get interchangeable lead pipes if you wanted to. This lead pipe feels great. Um, it is a compact sized horn. So how Brent does that is through the pudgy way, which is this extra slide right here. And that's cool because you could do micro tonality. For instance, Oh, let me, sorry, let me turn down my mic. I have to get used to that. So you can have a microtown out. Again, I literally got the horn a couple hours ago, so I need to, oh, sorry. Uh, I need to uh, get used to it, so I'm not pretty fast on the microtonality. But it's cool because you could do a little pitch adjusting if you needed to on the fly. Really great. Now, Brent uses on this model the Getz and Valve block. It is great. Awesome. He made these custom buttons for me. They're beautiful, as you can see. Those buttons, just great. And then it says, B. Peters, Palouse. That's where he's making these in Palouse, Washington. And then also it has the build date. He built this on Veterans Day. So salute to all those who have served, my father-in-law, my grandfather, my brother-in-law. I mean, so many people in my family are veterans. So I will be thinking of you as I play it. I think the best mouthpiece choice is this uh, trumpet flugel hybrid. It really does a beautiful job conveying different tones and colors. You can hear, oh, I, I need to live with this horn for a while. It's very different than a, just a straight or a head trumpet. Uh, but I did want to play a few other mouthpieces so you could hear the difference. And yes, these are all silver mouthpieces, so they're ir irritating my chops a little bit. But um, this is, this mouthpiece is just our Mount Vernon one and a quarter C. And um, it's gonna be much more trumpety. Just turn down the mic again. Hold on, if I can. Thank you. 
So that's with a normal trumpet-sized mouthpiece. But if I put the, the real fun mouthpiece on this, and, and it is a lot of work, is the beautiful, the beautiful FX mouthpiece. Check this sound out. that mouthpiece. That mouthpiece is very deep and has a beautiful, rich sound. This is our FX. So with this mouthpiece, it's very dark and rich and warm and lush. But the coolest thing about all of the pudgy instruments is the versatility of them. They're never going to be a trumpet, and maybe this will never be a flugelhorn in terms of the nature of it, but it sort of lies all around. I have a bright mouthpiece. I want to play this. I haven't done anything on this yet. This is one of our early prototype mouthpieces, which was based on an owl cast, because that's where I started making mouthpieces, was in Massachusetts. And now let's see if this thing is bright or, or not. Hold on. So it will do pretty much everything. Thank you, Brent. Amazing horn, amazing horn. This one is not for sale. We can you order you some pudgies, but just to be fully transparent, Brent's order list is long and uh, those horns won't get delivered for a while. But we're more than happy for you to come to the shop in Kansas City, play this beautiful horn. Made in America by Brent Peters at Pudgy Trumpets. Thanks again. Please hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. We appreciate you so very much. Take care. Cheers.